Hi you guys, it's just me, Emmy. Some of you will know me, I'm John's daughter, those of you who don't, hello. Um, as always, whenever I'm visiting Newcastle, I like to come and see what my dad's got going on in the workshop, see what new projects he's got, have a little look around. Um, visiting day with my goddaughter, so my dad's been showing her around inside of his many sheds. So it takes more than one workshop to keep Double Boost going, so we've had a little look at all the bits and bobs and that's been great fun. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support from your dad. It means the world to all. Uh, like and subscribe and um, enjoy the show. See you again soon. Bye. Thanks for that, Emmy. You're certainly going to be a hard act to follow. In tonight's nightcap, I do a machining job on some stainless steel. Uh, I machine a bow to a real tight fit for a pressure and bearing. I show quite a bit of that. And I also do a heli coil repair job for work. I show a bit of that. Um, the Wednesday night videos are going quite well. I generally show a little bit of what I've done through the week and possibly a little engineering topic. If there's anything you'd like me to show, given the equipment and the knowledge I've got, just leave a comment in the comments box and I'm sure I'll be able to accommodate you. If you want to see even more of me with a bit more swearing and no adverts, I have got a Patreon channel. There's a link in the description box how to join the Patreon channel. I want a drone here yeah, for a simple enough job. Um, it's a piston. For a ring roller for rolling flat bond the rings I would imagine it's just a it's a piece of solid board out with a shoulder to take three of those bearings I've got a nice little bit of 316 let's say I'll get it out of that the most critical bit is the bore size to make a press fit for the bearings so I'll go for that first I'll do the bore first it's point this machine the rest of it and then making a mess of the ball. The ball is the bit you're most likely to get wrong. So we'll do that first and go from there. Here's a three jaw chuck for this job. There's quite a bit of jaw sticking out there, but it's still perfectly perfectly safe. Two at length 42. Plenty to get it out of there. And we've got a real good grip on it in the chuck. So like I say, the first thing is going to be the bore. We'll skim the end up, centre drill it, get a drill through it, and then bore it out the size. Machine's really nice with this stuff. I like machine this 3160 and this good material to play with, a good material to work with. Nicely sharp and drill, you can see it's cutting 
eaten me on both flanks. I didn't show them the name. All I want to do is get some metal out of here quickly. Sort of got it roughed out now. Right, roughed out, we've got a flat bottom in there, so that should come quite nicely. There's a lot to come out of there, or quite a lot. Putting better out of it because that's the way the tool is designed to work. I'm going to give it a couple of spring cuts and then leave it alone. Certainly a satisfactory finish in there. Very happy with that. Uh, three mil, red hot, let it cool down, clear tomorrow. Getting pretty near to size now. I'll put a new tip in just to make sure that a nice finish, a nice clean cut. We'll do one real light cut like this and then measure it. Bearing's 37 and I'm even for 36.9 with 0.1 of the middle which is about the fourth hour with the fairly spit. And just put a really nice finish in there. 36.9 according to that. It will be 6.45 according to my chronometer. Now we put a 0.1 cut on. I'll just sort of put on it nice and gently. It will be 6.6. Another 0.1 mil cut. It's easy to take though, but you kind of put the bastard stuff back in. 
nasty stringy tips coming off here in the steel. We can get tips to actually break the break the tips. But you don't want to be getting the whole any of them and cut your fingers off, it's absolutely horrible. Years are sharp and hot as well. You need a, a hook to pull them out with. Forty six point nine according to that. Still feels tight. Forty six point eight according to the counter. We both go again. Thirty six point nine the corner of the corner of the vernier. I'm getting thirty six point nine five according to my counter. So I'm gonna settle for that. There's a little wheel a bit of heat in there, not much. That bearing will undoubtedly I don't want to but it will knock into there. I don't always want to get them out when he presses three bearings in, but somehow that's not my problem. Next we're going to machine that outside diameter, which I think was 45mm. And we've got, I think it's 50mm bar that's in there. Yeah. the part and tool is nice and square to the job by simply offering it up like that I know it's on centre height because I've spent a lot of time setting it up things on a bit try and keep a constant pressure on the parting tool try not to back off when it's cutting nicely and when you do back off you back off properly some more motion snot on it Yeah, like a, a sec second away from disaster sort of thing. Ideally, I should put some of this into a little tub with some water to dilute it a bit, but it's doing, it's doing the job. I have got water on the lathe. I do use it sometimes, cutting, cutting soluble oil. But it, it means when you're videoing, you can't get the camera in to get the, the sort of shots, keep the light, the close-up shots. There's nothing like a close-up shot of a parting blade snapping to cheer people up. We're getting in quite deep now. I'm going to speed it up now because the surface speed has slowed down as you get near the centre. Let's 
machine in here is cutting nice new gear. Get the little clock springs. Get in here. This tip's done quite a bit of work as well, it's not a new tip, it's has done a little bit of graft. This is when it starts to get dodgy when you get near the, near the centre. It's just about off there. In fact, it's off. We want 1.4 off here. Knock that stub off first. I thought until he's put a decent finish on. Zero there. It's actually tearing that off, not machining it. You change angle of the tool. Very, very straight in the centre height. It's left a little wee pit. See it? I don't think I do the new tip in there. I've the tip turning wrong. I think I'll do that now. Yeah, this should be the last piercing cut. Drop corner off. That's the job done. Anyway, just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, thanks for watching.